Hiu. S. Navy has revealed the latest details about what it expects from its already bummed down MQ-25 Stingray drone program. In a new twist, the service has downplayed an already limited reconnaissance requirement while expanding the scope of the proposed unmanned aircraft's aerial tanking duties. On July 19, 2017, the Navy sent out a draft request for proposals to four defense contractors, Boeing, General Atomics, Lockheed Martin, and Northrop Grumman, ahead of the service's planned release of a formal notice sometime in the fall, according to USNE News. Notably, this document outlines just two so-called key performance parameters, or KPPs, for any proposed design. The system needs to be able to operate off of the aircraft carrier and integrate with all of the subsystems of the carrier, U. S. Navy Captain Bo Duarte, the MQ-25 program manager, told us me. Sea-based tanker is the second KPP. It needs to be able to deliver a robust fuel offload at range to support an extension of the air wing and add flexibility of what's available from a mission tanking perspective. It's a testament to Pentagon bureaucracy that the Navy has to specify the first of these requirements at all. That the unmanned aircraft, previously known as the Carrier-Based Aerial Refueling System, CBARS, would need to use existing carrier subsystems, such as catapults and arresting equipment, is a long-established given. The second KPP, however, is a small, but significant change from how the service explained the drone's planned missions when it applied for the MQ-25 designation in 2016. In that request, which the author previously obtained through a Freedom of Information Act request, the primary focus was on recovery rather than mission tanking. Recovery tanking is a much more limited task involving an aerial refueling aircraft flying fixed orbits in close proximity to the carrier. The concept allows carrier fighters or strike aircraft to fly missions that take up much of their fuel, knowing that when they return they can take on additional gas and land safely. Since the Navy's carrier air wings do not presently have a dedicated it tanker, Super Hornets have to fill this role using a detachable buddy pod store. This takes the aircraft away from their primary duties as a strike fighter. So, Having the Stingray do this work would lead to a substantial increase in mission capacity and can also extend the reach of existing, carry a strike group, capabilities, according the MQ-25 designator request packet. Only one MQ-25 in each complete unmanned aerial system, which would include multiple drones, an MD-5 ground control station, and other associated equipment, would be available for so-called mission tanking. Unlike recovery tanking. This mission profile has aerial refueling planes operating in orbits nearer to the target area. To perform this job, the tanker would have to have a greater maximum range of its own and could expect to find itself closer to enemy defenses without the protective umbrella of the carrier and its escorts. At present, large U.S. Air Force KC-135 and KC-10 tankers perform the bulk of the U.S. military's mission tanking across all the services. If like this video please leave a like and subscribe.